So we're here on the Lynchburg, uh, Black, well, the Blackwater Creek Trail. I'm not sure if it's called that right here, but you see this mile marker, 6.5 miles, and that's all the, the length of the trail. And I thought I'd do this video the opposite direction than I normally do. So I, I'm gonna make the video on the way back to the car rather than making it on the way out from the car. But anyway, I, for years now, I've always wondered why that because you know, we're in Amherst right now. I think we're in Madison Heights. I'm not sure which town I'm in. And uh, I've always wondered why they don't extend the, uh, the bike path here. And uh, it used to be you could just walk on up that way. But I guess uh, too many people were trespassing on uh, private property because I went on back there just to see if, you know, where it goes and whatever. And so you see they've put this gate up here. And, uh, and they've got two, pro I didn't even know that was private property. I figured that Amherst uh, or Madison Heights owned the land, but uh, my, my bad, I guess. And then it says, end of the public trail, uh, private property beyond this point, please do not trespass. So anyway, we're just walking next to the, uh, the James River here. Really beautiful uh, bike path. You can see the guy down here biking. Uh, now this is a nice touch. There's a portage on right down here at the end of the trail. And uh, if we'll get another video when I can get a better view, but we've done this trail before way back, but I'm, somehow I couldn't find it in my videos. Maybe it was just so long ago. <laughs> I don't know. But I thought, you know what? I made that video during the summertime. Maybe you might want to see what it looks like during the wintertime. Plus, I wanted to see if anything had changed. So I'm not sure that mile marker post was there the last time I was here, so that's a change. And I'm not sure that portage on was there the last time I was here. But anyway, let's wait till we can get a view of the river and we'll add on another clip here in just a second. So this is new. I didn't hit, I got it on a video from a distance, but just down from the end of the trail there, they put in a, a bench to sit on. Uh, you know, I always go over that in my videos that that's a nice touch uh, to have a place to sit, especially when you get to the end of the path. And, you know, I only did a couple of miles today, and uh, so now I'm just on my way back. But we'll get, uh, like I said, we'll wait till we get a good view of the river, and then they'll take us, you know, also there's a train track over here. I know you can't see it on the other side of the river. Uh, sometimes a train will roll by, and if we get a train today, I'll, I'll cut the video on. So I thought this was a good view of the river moving along. You can see how it's making a turn coming this way. Let's go back. Uh, by the way, I didn't get it on the video, but uh, well, let's see. I, I can't really get through the bush here, but there's a bridge over here. That's 29 right there. Um, that was put in, God, I can't remember, not too many years ago, but I thought this was a real nice view of the river. So here we are at mile six. And uh, this is real nice, this is new, that gazebo right there. So that's pretty cool. Boy, I wish I could jog like that. <laughs> One day I think I would used to. Now this is very, this is crazy, this parking lot right here. Because I think you come out, well you come out of Madison Heights to get down to this parking lot and all the years I've been coming to Lynchburg, I would never found the road that <laughs> leads down to this parking lot. And uh, I guess nobody else has either because there's not a single car here. But uh, check this out, this is new too. And I like this. Uh, so now you got a place for plastic bottles, aluminum cans and trash. And I guarantee you most people will just throw it on the ground anyway. But uh, we're gonna get uh, get these signs down here because we got some rocks coming up. And the, oh, by the way, a picnic table over here, that's a nice touch. Uh, so. Um, the all property border in this trail in Amherst County is privately owned. Please remain on the paved trail. So there you go. And then uh, we got another sign right here. It says, and there's, a, there's the river. I get another view of the river off in the distance there. Yeah, that's just the rules. Who gives a crap? If I want to drink a damn beer, I'll drink a damn beer. But uh, anyway, let's get down here. Now, these are the rocks that I was talking about. And this, these, are, I think these came out of the Appalachian Mountains. And, uh, and they just put them on display here. It's kind of a cool cool way to to set up a barrier for, for cars to not get back in here but let's read about the rocks and i i just think it's cool because you know me i'm curious about everything let's see uh what virginia rocks what a sampling of different types of rocks found throughout oh, throughout central virginia never mind leadership private done by as a requirement for rank of eagle scout once again boy we miss the boy scouts don't we at least i'd i do i was a scout master for a brief period of time bsa eagle scout candidate draper lee directed a team that included the following companies and then you can read those on your own but let's get around I, I thought there was something that told you what kind of rocks there are 
So you can see they're numbered one, two, three, four, five. Huh. Wonder if I can. I'm going to look around and see if I can find. I thought for sure there was a sign that talked about these rocks. I see a box here on the side. Let's see. Information on Virginia rocks. Yep. Empty. Maybe that's what I was thinking of right there. All right. Well, that, anyway, you can see it's not a well maintained road. So maybe that's why people don't come down it. But, uh, Hey, so I can't give you the information about the rocks. Bummer. All right, they all have a good one. Let's just keep on going. But you can see what the trail looks like. It just continues on meandering through the forest. And you can see out here on this private land that they've got a picnic table right on the uh, the river. But man, wouldn't you love to own that land? Oh my God, and they see they got the fire, the fire logs so they can, you know, if you, if you had your family, you could come down here with the, you know, four-wheel drive or you know whatever and uh just pull up right there maybe hell even put a tent up and uh stay overnight and have a fire and a picnic that'd be awesome man i wish i had that kind of money um so i don't know what that is other than a drainage hole so anyway if i see anything those are the things i wanted to show you on the way out um if we get another really good view of the river we'll get that on the way back and then the rest of the video would be uh, percival island and then uh, we'll go over top of the James River and I'll get that on the video too. Now that I got the uh, GoPro on a stick, you know, I can get it up nice and high and show you everything there. All right. Thought I'd get the squirrel on the video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Although he is on the video. But man, that's, a, that's actually a road. What? I mean, you, I, I guess you'd have to have a Jeep maybe to get up and down that. And I can't imagine, it just seems to me, even that would spin out. But you can see it comes down and goes into here. And of course, they got their private property, no trespassing signs. But that's one hell of a road, isn't it? Oh, here comes a truck. Wonder where that... That's the first time I've ever seen a vehicle in here. I don't know what he's doing. I guess he's getting down to the river. So just down from mile marker 5.75, Three more uh, trash containers. That's a nice touch, man. I, this is all new. This wasn't here the last time I was here. And look at here. I always point out there's another bench. And I'll show you the view here in just a second. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, and then, of course, you got this, uh, you know, dog waste station. I don't think, probably no no bags in there. Besides, yeah, because, you know, I, that we're pretty far up the trail. There's not many dogs that can walk this far. But look at that view. I wonder how in the world did somebody get up there and write that on that rock? John, J-O-N. Although I hate graffiti, you know that. But here, let's just get slow pan of the, of the river as it rolls by. And there's a look back up the trail. Now, what what is that right there? I don't know. I, you know, at first I thought it was a, a deer stand, but uh, that's no deer stand. So it doesn't provide any shelter. Maybe once upon a time it had a roof on it or something. I don't know. Weird. So coming up on the five mile marker, you can see it, we've kind of dived away from the river. So you kind of get that, that back in the forest field here on the trail. Um, so I just wanted to get this on the video. We're not quite yet to Percival Island, um, but I think uh, this, this is just kind of a different view. That's all I wanted to get. It's pretty cool. Continuing along here, that's new. That's a picnic table that uh, they've put out. Nice touch. Boy, they got it bolted to the ground. I mean, who's gonna steal that picnic table? But, oh well, kinda, kinda cool. All right, we're coming up on a, an area that I'm gonna discuss here in just a minute. So let's just, we're not gonna travel much further before I make the next clip. So I'm my way to where I was gonna talk. Well, I will just make this whole clip. I always wonder what this stuff, because this, this used to be, I think, a railroad track. Uh, and maybe that was something for the railroad. Leave a comment below if you know what that's about. Now, over here, you see over here, you could, there's a couple of campers down there. And it's right next to the river. I'll get this up a little higher. And uh, I always wonder, you know, because, you know, it's private property. and uh, But, man, if I owned that, that'd make one hell of a nice campground, don't you think? I mean, you know, probably you could put like a, well, I don't know if you could put a dock on the river because it's moving pretty fast, you know, but would that be a cool piece of property to have? And I guess the owner must be rich. You know, if you got enough money, what's the point of uh, sharing it with the public, you know, but uh, seems to me you could make some money, especially in the summertime. 
that'd be one hell of a nice campground you know anyway peace out so since, since i'm on my way back this is the second bridge over the uh, james river you know that's why it's called percival island because the river forks and goes around the island but look at look at here at the camping area They even have a portage on down there. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. I mean, that's crazy money, isn't it? Oh, look at the canoe right here. Got the coolers, and that's one hell of a fire pit, isn't it? Look at that thing. Yeah, man, I tell you, I, whoever owns that property is a happy. So I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a train rolling along right over here. And uh, this is a view of the river. I'm going to get this up high, so here you go. And here's a view back down the uh, the bridge, and then here's a view of the other side of the James River. And here's another view down the uh, the bridge here. So, so here's one last view of the river from this side. And there's some people coming down the bridge, and here's the other side. All right, so this is kind of the end of this bridge. So we're heading on to the island. Now that bench has been there a long time, but it's nice to have, you know, that's a good resting spot. In fact, I might avail myself of that bench here in just a moment. So this is uh, interesting. I don't know why all these scooters are here, but you are seeing them around town and in a lot of cities, but I, we're on the island at this point. So you can see the other side of the river over here. And I, uh, uh, we're actually going to take a, um, a side trail because this is this is more or less what it looks like the whole way back to the uh, the other the next bridge where we'll be taking some clips on that bridge too. But uh, you can see what a treasure this is for Lynchburg, Virginia. I just wish they would extend it, you know, up onto that private property. You know, may uh, you know buy that property from that homeowner or, or owner, I guess I should say, and you know see if they could extend the bike path. I think that'd be really cool. But in all the years, I guess it's, this, this has been here many years, I, I, maybe they just can't do it. I don't know why. So rather than continue here on the paved trail, it's always nice to get, you know, a side trail. And you can kind of see there's, there's quite a few people that enjoy this, uh, this resource. And so we're just going to take this trail on over here. I haven't walked this trail too many times, and uh, so this could be interesting. We should probably get some good views of the uh, river walking along here. Uh, certainly easier on my feet than being on that asphalt, I'll tell you that. Although, uh, now this is also fun to ride with a mountain bike, you know. I, I know I've done it on a mountain bike a couple of times. Um, so, yeah, you know, it is a, it's a neat little side trail just to have something different than staying on the paved path, which is cool. So while we're walking along, I just thought I'd tell y'all a joke. Because I've never laughed so hard in my whole life. But anyway, if you go up onto the uh, FEMA website, they've, got, they've posted a new uh, um, uh, procedure for a global thermal nuclear war. So the, what it says, <laughs> I, I, it makes me laugh just thinking about it. It says, get to the center of a building in the event, you know, a, a nuclear bomb is coming in. Get to the center of the building, put a mask on, <laughs> Wait, 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 it gets, it gets better. Maintain social distancing. If so, no, it gets better. I know that you, you gotta be laughing at this point. So then it says, if somebody is suspected of having COVID, uh, call 911. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that a 911 call with a th new thermonuclear bomb coming in on the location is going to do a whole lot of good. But honest to God, go up there and look how stupid the people we got in the government, man. These, I, I, I don't know, man. I, 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 anyway, I guess that's it. But you can see what the trails are kind of looking like here. There's a, there's a view of the river just with the sun glistening off of it. That's pretty cool. So, uh, boy, look at that. Look at the, uh, the rapids right here. By the way, that is a fun river to uh, to canoe or kayak. 
you know, pretty pretty meandering along, but you do you can see you do hit some spots where it's it's kind of cool. And I, I do like this little side trail. And I don't, you know, I don't do this very often. I just usually stay on the paved trail, but uh, that's all right. Today I wanted to get a get a view for the video. All right. So I'm going to try not to fall off of here. <laughs> that would be a bumpy ride down to the water. Look at that though. That's pretty cool. Another view of the uh, glistening water with that sun on it. Pretty cool. I just walked over to the edge here. This is what it looks like going down. I'm not getting too close to that edge. I, when I was a young man, I'd probably be standing on that rock right there. All right, here we go. Let's keep going. So this is very nice. The trails moved right over next to the, uh, the river. And uh, boy, what a pretty view, huh? Isn't that nice? Just kind of walking right by the river here. Yeah, this is a, what a treasure. And just right in the backyard. Of course, getting here, I tell you what, Lynchburg, <laughs> I hate driving in downtown Lynchburg. Right? One-way streets, it's like Washington, driving in Washington, D.C., man. And these huge hills, I mean, you know, you better have a good set of brakes to drive in Lynchburg, Virginia, especially in the downtown area. So now you over here, you see we've got this structure. I guess that was for the railroad, for something for the railroad, who knows. But uh, I think the trail is going to be coming to an end, so the next video will be on the, the second bridge here soon. So this is this is pretty cool. There's another entrance to the uh, right. That's the paved trail right up here. And you see that picnic table? That's a nice touch, and that that just comes down and swoops back into the river trail here. Um, and then of course you got a a way to walk out. And there's also good fishing here too. You know, I see people fishing, so you know, they probably come right there and. Uh, get next to the river and I'm just going to keep going on the dirt trail here but I just wanted to show you there's multiple entrances then you got this telephone pole right here <laughs> right, in the, right in the middle of nowhere and there I guess that's some leftover train train track or pieces of the train just right there boy I tell you that metal if for scrapping that'd be worth it a little bit you know but I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I guess you could bring a vehicle back here and pull that out. I, I don't. I don't know what they pay for scrap here in uh, in Virginia, but uh, they get, we get pretty good prices down in Florida for it. <laughs> so I took a break, and I meant to get it on the video, but luckily, I came up to another one. So this is the second bench I've seen that just sits here right on the river. I don't know if these have been here or how long they've been here. I don't remember them, but then I, I probably was rolling through here just hiking or riding my, my a bike. And, uh, but that, boy, I tell you, I sat in that one back there and I uh, just made a phone call. And it, it was nice sitting there, went nice and quiet watching the river flow by. You know, this is, uh, you know, if you come to Percival Island, uh, I'd say this, take the side trail unless, unless it's muddy, you know. Um, unless, you know, you just want, I mean, you could try, do what I did. I came out on the paved trail and then I came, now I'm coming back on the side trail. But I just want to show you that bench. So we're at the end of the, uh, the dirt path here and it's uh, heading on back up to the, um, the paved trail. And uh, then next clip will be a good view of the river and uh, maybe one or two after that and that'll be it for the day. So this is pretty cool. I forgot about this. You know, here you are on the island, and I think that's the Lynchburg Expressway, 29 Business, perhaps, because the other the other bridge I showed you, I think that's the new 29 Bypass. And then you got these big old, uh, I don't know, that looks fairly new over there. Those big uh, um, pipes, and uh, I guess that's for drainage. Just thought I'd get a view of the of the bridge going underneath it here on the island. I just thought that was cool. I, I know I already showed you the bridge from a distance, but I thought I'd come over here and just get one. Doesn't that look cool? Man, isn't it amazing that mankind can build things like this? But here's a here's a look down from from right here. Uh, pretty cool. All right. And you can see this goes down to a grassy area where you could put out a blanket and have a picnic, but. It, I mean, I, I know the water probably comes up over that, so, but it seems like you could put a picnic table down there and bolt it to the ground. And then you got a couple of scooters here, and look at this couple on the on the bench. And there's the path, but it, we're coming up onto the second, well, the first bridge, because like I said, I'm making the video on the way back, but this is kind of what it looks like. Uh, the next will just be a good view of the river, and then we'll finish off the video. See that woman right there? She was jogging just a minute ago. <laughs> I'm thinking, man, I can't jog, but let's let's get up on this uh, observation deck. Hold on. 
All right, here we go. This is the view. I'm going to take the take the camera on up. That's it for today. So I'm on the way back. Now this is nice that they've got three portable toilets as you're, you know, as you're going out. This is right at the beginning of the trail. Now I don't know who would want to sit in that bench. I mean, I guess you could sit there while somebody was in the portable toilet. Maybe that's the reason for it. But I, I don't think I want to sit in a bench next to a portable toilet. Thought maybe you might want a view of downtown Lynchburg as we're coming out. So, uh, we're heading up to the parking area. I'll try not to get any faces on the video here. Let me, uh, there is a historical sign coming up right here. So let's, uh, let's read just a little bit of that while I get there. Now, those bikes unlimited. You can rent a bike there if you wanted to just bike the trail. But this is Personal Island. I don't think I'm going to read that whole thing because this the video has gotten really long. But if you wanted to pause the video right there, you could read it for yourself. Uh, and then this is, this is, I will read this one, sit lit because it's so small. Lynchburg is a city rich in the history of Virginia and the nation. As with any city, some of our sites and buildings that reflect that history have changed over the centuries since Lynchburg's origi origins in the 1750. All right, that's it. So this is it for the video. These guys just took a picture. Boy, he was, he was sitting in that loop. It was a cool pose. It was really cool. But this is the thing that you see when you first come in to the trail love love virginia's for lovers i think that's the, the the motto but anyway let's do the mantra freedom oh freedom let those truckers roll